math society now we are discuss about the addition of the matrices as it is easy to add two numbers for example if we add 2 plus 2 which is 4 similarly 6 plus 3 is 9 and 3 plus 3 which is equals to 6 and so on but what about when we add two matrices basically matrix is a rectangular array of numbers which are enclosed in a bracket which is a square bracket and there is a rows as in horizontal way and there is a columns in a vertical so these are rows and these are columns but if we need to add two matrices so there is a rule that two matrices are added if they are of same order as a condition is that so as an addition of two matrices on the possible when they have same order as the order means go by column so always remember if add two matrices the order of both these two matrices must be same for example if we take our matrix which is 3 1 2 minus 1 2 and 3 and we have to add these two matrices so the question is that the addition of these two matrices are possible or not first of all check out the order of the first matrix so here is two rows and one two three three columns so order of this matrix is two by three uh, now check out the order of this matrix here there are two rows and one column as the order of these two matrices are not same and then the addition of these two matrices are not possible so here in that case addition cannot be possible so if the order of two matrices are not same then the addition is not possible now take another example so here it is a matrix a and it is a matrix b we have to compute the addition of these two matrices but before we're going to add matrices we must check out the order of the matrices that the addition of these two matrices are possible or not so there is two rows and one two three three columns so the order of this matrix is two by three now check out the order of this matrix here there is also two rows and three columns so the order of this matrix is also two by three so the order of these two matrices are same then the addition of these two matrices are possible so now start the addition so how to add the two matrices as to just add corresponding entries what is the mean of the corresponding entries that here is an element of the position that is first row and first column and here is the element where is in the first row and first column so just to add the same position elements or the corresponding entries of both of these methods how to add it add 1 plus 0 now here is the element here is the second element of first row and second column and and add with the other matrix second position of first row and with second column so we add 0 plus 0 plus minus 2 now add 5 plus 3 similarly 0 is the first element of second row and first column and in the other matrix 3 is the first element of second row and first column so, so 0 plus 3 and now add 3 plus 5 7 plus 4 7 plus 4 so in this way we can add two matrices by checking first of all the order of these matrices are same or not so 0 plus 1 is 1 here it is minus 2 and 5 plus 3 is 8 it will be a 3 it will be again 8 it will be a 11 so here is a resultant matrix after addition these two matrices as the order of these two matrices are 2 by 3 and the order of the final matrix or the resultant matrix after applying the addition so here is another example in this example a b c and the values of a b c in the form of the matrix are given and we have to compute this here it is the same as we do in the previous example but in this example we apply the procedure of the addition two times as this bracket shows 
that add these two matrices first and the result of this matrix add with the matrix of C and this is the final of this. So before this we must check out the order of both three matrices are same or not as we first add a matrix A plus B. So here the order of this matrix is here is a three rows and three columns so the order of matrix A is 3 by 3. Similarly the order of the matrix of B is also 3 by 3 and the order of the matrix C is also 3 by 3 matrix. So first of all we have to compute this fact as. So as in this step we simply write the value of A which is given and B and C. So first of all this bracket shows that we must add these two matrices. As the order of these two matrices are same so the addition of these two matrices are possible. So we just add the corresponding elements of both of these of the matrices. Here we add 2 plus 3 and 3 plus minus 2 and 0 plus 5. 5 and 1. So basically we 6 plus 4 and 1 plus 1. Now in the last row we have 2 plus 4, 1 plus 2. 3 plus minus 4 and simply write this matrix as so now just add these matrices result which is 3 plus 2 is 5 it will be a 1 it will be 5 so here is a minus so it will be 4 and it will be a 10 and 2 which is 4 plus 2 6 it will be a 3 and it will be a minus 1 now again we apply the addition procedure with this matrix. So again apply the addition procedure that add the corresponding entries of both of these matrices. So we can again apply 5 plus 1, 1 plus 2 and 5 plus 3 and after this 4 minus 2, 10 plus 0, 2 plus 4, 6 plus 1. 3 plus 1 and minus 1 plus 0 and the final answer after the computation which is 6 3 will be 8 2 10 4 plus 2 which is 6 it will be a 7 4 and minus 1 so here is the final answer of this term which we compute as the given values of a b and so the addition of the two matrices is only possible when the order of both of these matrices are same otherwise the addition is not possible. And also applying the subtraction of two matrices in the same way just like as the addition as the two matrices can be subtracted if the order of both of these matrices are same. So subtraction rule is similar as a addition rule.